What's up everybody? It's Titanium Addiction here and I got a little fixed blade for you today and fixed blades aren't something that I have a lot of. Hopefully that'll change here in the future but uh, this one I feel is definitely worth uh, showing you guys. So let's take a look at what we have here. So this is an Arnold Bernard Nyala, not to be confused with the Chris Reeve Nyala even though both makers are from South Africa. But let's take a look at what we have here. So on this guy, you have a three and a half inch blade in N690. And there's something there. It uh, has their satin finish. And you have a giraffe bone handle. This is the first giraffe bone that I have ever handled. And it's kind of weird. Um, it's really smooth and shiny, but it actually has a fairly decent grip to it, uh, despite the glossy finish here. Uh, the fit and finish on this guy is very nice. Uh, there are no screws or anything in the handle. It is with, uh, I believe silver nickel pins. I really couldn't find a lot of, uh, information on the pins they use. And everything just lines up so well. This giraffe bone feels really nice. Uh, it's got a decent blade length, a lot, a lot of cutting ability. And it does also come with a nice little sheath here. And uh, everything looks like it is very well made. Um, and here's where the confusion comes in. So, Bernard, they build their knives as custom knives. They do not make them until you order them. However, they are not all handmade by one person. They are, however, all handmade by one family. So, it's kind of a little confusing as to where they fall, um, you know, versus custom, mid-tech or whatnot. I'm definitely open to discussion about that. Uh, um, I really do have a, a difficult time classifying this guy. But let's give it some size comparisons here. And this guy does come in at uh, 4.5 ounces and uh, 5.9 ounces with the sheath. And so I have a few things matching size-wise to compare. So, this one is a little bigger. This is my Leong Ma eraser. Uh, it does have a four inch blade, so it's kind of what you're looking at there. And, oops, sorry to bump the camera there. We have a Kershaw bare knuckle with the same uh, Claiming the same blade size, three and a half inches. So it does look a little bit bigger. Uh, the weight on this one is a little lighter, but you know, again, if you're uh, out hunting, camping, anything outdoors, uh, a lot of times a fixed blade is uh, much more convenient and will do the job better than a folding knife. But you know, that's that's up for debate. And then something a little more standard that a lot of people recognize is a bug out. And this is not a regular bug out, but it's still the same size. And so that's kind of what we're looking at there. And again, a big shout out to Northwest Knives for loaning us this for the video. Um, and again, do check out their Instagram uh, at Northwest Knives. They are giving away a Medford Smooth Criminal here soon. And uh, you might want to get in on that. It's a pretty slick knife. And uh, if you're interested in these, they do go for about, uh, I think, 330 on Bernard's website. But if you go to northwestknives.com, uh, you won't pay that much and you'll have free shipping. So something to think about. And uh, I did notice we are coming up close to 
approaching 200 subscribers now so I'm gonna start working on a giveaway for that um, yeah if you have any input on uh, where to classify these guys as a uh, custom production or mid tech please chime in in the comments let me know I'd like to talk about it um, other than that I uh, hope you enjoyed what I had here for you today um, you know go ahead and subscribe if you like and hit that bell for notifications and until next time everybody take care have a great day